The International Space Station is the most unique laboratory that exists. There are things that you can learn, things that you can do in space that you just can't do on the Earth. Space Station really provides an opportunity to explore, for example, say medical applications. The aging and the osteoporosis and muscle wasting conditions are greatly accelerated in microgravity. Understanding those phenomena allow us to look at how we can improve treatment of disease here on Earth. What we have is the capability to affect people's quality of life. But it's not just drug companies that can benefit from experiments or research in space, but it's a, a host of industries across the board. But it wasn't always easy to get there. Historically, access to space was limited to companies and corporations which were selected by the government, and what we lost was the true creativity of so many innovative smaller companies that really didn't understand how to get to space. When we were doing the reauthorization of NASA, uh, we wanted to expand the opportunities to different areas of experimentation and also different entities. Recognizing the untapped potential for commercial access to space, in 2005, Congress declared the U.S. portion of the International Space Station a national laboratory. Essentially, it opened up opportunities for research that could be done on the space station that would benefit us here on Earth. Everyday companies and everyday researchers and everyday people can think about using the space station. That's, that's a fundamental change that was never allowed before. Today, we offer opportunities to the researcher that never existed before. Whether it be seed funding to help support the actual project. To access to experts to create hardware. That rocket ride up, the on-station time with the astronaut as your lab technician. What we're doing is really making it as easy as possible for people here on Earth to do space-based research without becoming space experts. Our part of the mission is to help guide these non-traditional innovative users from their traditional labs here on the ground to a very unusual and uh, important asset in space. The ISS National Lab has space versions of hardware that you can often find in laboratories here on the ground. Everything from even animal habitats, plant growth chambers, freezers, 3D printers, earth observation windows, incubators, furnaces, the centrifuges, microscopes, the list goes on and on. So we're working with companies that you would never imagine, and they would never have imagined, using the International Space Station, and they're seeing great results from that. And the International Space Station offers researchers like me an opportunity to find the key variables. It's helping us to pinpoint therapeutic molecules. The space station really provides us a unique opportunity, a unique environment to do some basic and fundamental research that allows us to develop products better. The ISS allows us to do a series of experiments in weightlessness that will have profound impacts for life on Earth. Having a U.S. national lab in space has allowed for the formation of a wide range of companies. It's creating a new economy, a sustainable marketplace that has services, commercial products, competition. There's no limit to what we can be doing in a few years.